If you were a superhero, what would you be? A ver, el Sas. Te aviento un chingo de masa, güey. Um, let me see. Well, you got two different kinds of superheroes. Tamale man. The tamale man. Das. So you have two different kinds of superheroes. You got in the books, right? You got some that have superpowers. They're mutants and shit. They can fly and do shit like that. Then you got like your Bruce Wayne type and your Iron Man type. So to me, that's a little bit more realistic. Um, so I'd have to be one of those, like Iron Man, Batman type of people. Uh oh. What is the most relevant lesson that your father taught you that uh, have a, has applied lately? Well, that's under the assumption that my dad taught me some shit. <laughs> well, you, you can learn from watching them. True that, right? You learn what not to do as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, I ain't gonna lie, man. Um, be present with your kids, like be home with your kids and don't be out and about so damn much. Uh, would you ever buy another rooster? Well, man, in a perfect world, you know, I want to uh, move out to the country, get some chickens, and uh, live off the grid. So yes. What what uh, what survival skills do you know? Well, in January, the freeze taught me how to light candles. Um, you know, how to be mad over solar panels and wind windmills. Um, I don't have a whole lot of survival skills, man. You know, maybe just some ammo. You know, ammo, ammunition. Do you think you can live off a diet of just beans? Hijo de su madre, just beans. Oh man, oof. You had to put some fat in those. They had to be refried beans. They had to be refried beans. Do you like animals? Yeah, man. Animals are cool, but they're a big responsibility. That's why we don't have a dog or anything right now. Uh, hopefully next year I'm not touring as much, and maybe we can get a badass German Shepherd. Do you think you could have a beer with Mark Zuckerberg? A beer with Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, you know what? Um. Uh, man, he, he's like borderline alien. That's how advanced he is. To where it'd be like, is he willing to come down to regular people level and like speak English and not speak robot? Uh, what book are you reading, reading right now? Uh, La Biblia. You know what I'm saying? Read the Proverbs. Uh, I just finished Mike Lindell's book. It's called uh, From Crackhead to CEO. So I just finished that one. And then I have an audio book, uh, Dr. Peter Navarro. It's, it's, uh, it's like his diary, his journal of the, pa the pandemic year when he was in the White House. So you get to see chapters where he's like, uh, de Blasio didn't want to give the uh, ventilators to Cuomo because they got beef and they over there crying to the White House talking about, we need 35,000 ventilators. And then they, he's telling all that stuff like what, what hoops they had to go through and all the behind the scenes politics. What's your favorite plant? Favorite plant? <sighs> I don't know a lot about plants, but uh, you know, aloe veras are cool because you can use them. You can pull out the little juice, you take or you have a cut. Um, they say they're supposed to be real easy to take care of, but you know, because I tour so much, I feel like I'm a bad plant father. Uh, so then my little plant be neglected. Do you cook? Yeah, I cook all the time. Oh, do you like to cook? You see more than that. Do you have a cookbook? Like, uh, do I own cookbooks? Do you have a cookbook? Nah, my wife has some recipes in her little journal, but uh, but you know, YouTube. Una pinche salsa con madre, you know what I mean? Chile, um, you know, basic stuff. But yeah, I wanna I wanna get more into barbecuing and stuff like that. Do you think if, if things get bad, you'll take the Chingo Blend brand to Mexico? Take it to Mexico? I don't know if Mexico's willing to accept, accept somebody like me. Just because they probably feel like, uh, like, pues no eres de aquí, wey. No eres mexicano de de veras, wey. Like your pocho version, Chicano version. Um, but hey, you know what though? Mexico does not have mandates. We do. Mexico has free speech. We don't. You know what I'm saying? Cancer culture hasn't gone all the way up in there. And all that pronoun stuff, that's not gonna fly in Mexico. Uh, uh, what is your favorite city to tour to? To tour to? Uh, I like my bigger markets. Uh, first of all, San Antonio, man, we had bigger crowds in San Antonio than in Houston. So, uh, gotta give props to San Antonio. Uh, Dallas is great. We're able to do six, seven shows. Houston's great. Huge markets. Um, California got my back. It's a lot of love out there. But right now, I'm limited to doing Thursday nights and Sunday nights and stuff like that. I don't really know how jiggy I could get by doing a whole weekend. If they give me a weekend, well, if they don't give me a weekend, I might have to go give myself a weekend. Do you know how to swim? Barely. <laughs> I'm not a confident swimmer. 
You know, if it's a swimming pool, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. There's edges and shit, you can see clear. But like, if you put me in a river or a lake or an ocean, something where it's like, you don't really know how deep it is, you don't know what's up under there. Like if you accidentally, your foot touches something, you don't know if it's a tree branch or a piranha. If you could have your own uh, petting zoo in the back, what kind of animals would you have? <sighs> well, let's see, what kind of animals can you pet? You can only really pet little shit, right? You can only <laughs> pet little shit, man. Like, you can only pet like ponies, uh, little sheep, and that's it. Little lambs, uh, little goats, little goats. Goats are friendly, the little ones. If you made a billion dollars tomorrow, would you still continue to be working? Man, you know what though? That's a good question. That's a very good question because I think I'd probably be working differently. You'd be trying to like think like Kanye, like how to solve people's problems and shit. You'd be thinking about like the clothing of the future and the city of the future and how do we improve upon these current systems. So you'd still be working, otherwise you'd, you'd uh, it's like you'd get depressed. Uh, what is your favorite restaurant in Houston? Oh man, that's a good question. I know. Well, I gotta give props to Gringos because they uh, they they get veterans 50% off every day, not just Veterans Day, okay. every day. Um, that's cool. Yup. Yeah. Uh, how do you like to eat your steak? Oh uh, man. Rare, Oof. medium, or fully cooked? Medium well, sir. Medium well. Surprising. Not not fully cooked. Why would you think I was gonna say? Oh, I don't know. You seem like a medium rare kind of guy. Medium rare? Oh, that's too bloody, bro. Yeah. Man, oh, yeah, I didn't that. man, um, shout out the Lola's in the Heights. If, if you go around lunchtime, you get that steak. I don't know how to say it. Steak, steak frites, but it's fries. Yeah, Far, fries with Parmesan on top and a fucking juicy ass steak. You know who else got a good steak? Peru Express Cafe on 59 across from uh, Joe Lowstein's church. You can get this, uh, it's called a bistec a lo pobre. It's a steak, rice, beans, like, I think plantains and some other stuff. They put an egg on top of the rice. Are you a, are you a grouch in the morning? Ha ha ha, he already knows it. <laughs> you know what? Um, it depends. So I'll be taking these uh, supplements at night called ZMA. And uh, you wake up in a good mood. You, you wake up pretty rested. So if I take my ZMAs at night, then I'm good. Do you dislike people more now after the pandemic, or is it is it more or less? Dislike? Dislike? Yeah. Great question. I say I dislike people more after the pandemic. I see people still believe, like, I mean, I get it, man. Like, you have every right to be afraid of the bug. I totally understand. You know, different people have different situations. But if you're a young person and you go get the poke, and you keep the mask on, in the car, by yourself, outside, in the sun, by yourself, ain't nobody around you, you're here. It's like, bro, we're in 2021. We already, November 2021. How have you still not realized what is going on? When you make a sandwich, do you put the meat on it first or the bag, or, or, or your, your condiments? Well, you gotta put the condiments on the bread. But which one goes first? You put the condiments or the meat in there first? You put the condiments on the bread first. <laughs> so you're gonna put, hit one side with the mayo and one side with the mustard. If you really wanna get jiggy, you'll put some sriracha in the mayo, whip that up first, you know what I'm saying, till you get that nice little color yeah. consistency. Um, and there's some other stuff called goju chong. Uh, I probably said it wrong. Oh. It's some Korean shit. And uh, it's like fermented, uh, red peppers, whatever, whatever, but all this is how you get different flavors. Mustard adds a lot of flavors to food. How do you relax? Oh, great question, man. Um, usually it's just like turn the phone off, like put the phone away, and you know, hang out with the kids, hang out in the living room with the kids, you know, carry your three month old, feed her, make sure she's good. You know, you gotta bathe the other one, the three year old. Um, make sure the 13 year old did her homework. So that's kind of a grown folks answer. But like the main thing is it might have to be like sip a little wine, but have family time. You have a good show when you don't feel so funny. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Uh huh. Cause sometimes you go, because a big part of performing is attitude. 
A big part of it is attitude. So some, you might see something that's gonna piss you off right before. Somebody said you ain't funny. So now you're hitting the stage with attitude. So now you don't give a damn. And sometimes that comes across as funny. Cause now you're able to talk some shit. Like damn bitch, shut the fuck up. You paid ticket money to come in here. But you know what I mean? And now you roasting this person. Now you, you got them laughing. Um, so yes, it is possible. Um, Better question. What do you do when you bomb? Man, we don't really bomb no more. <laughs> we be trying to bomb. Give we be trying to bomb. Like, <laughs> you have to dare to bomb. You have to go out there and take chances and try new shit. That's, see, a lot of comedians, bro, they're scared to try new stuff. That's why they always got the same joke. And so the only way you're going to ever develop those ideas is you have to dare to bomb. You, like, for example, Javi told me about um, Eddie Griffin. He says, Eddie Griffin be like, trying to find the line like where he can't cross like he wants to trigger people he wants to offend some of the people and bring these people back and then offend these and then back and forth like ain't nobody safe it's like you're watching somebody walk a tight wire uh that was 71 plus three questions with chingo bling i don't know how many questions we actually did but uh, uh i had fun i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments if you have any other questions. Should we do a part two? Is there anything you disagreed with me or something that you agreed? Is this something we should expand upon? Don't forget, join the newsletter, tune into the podcast, and hit up the website, chingobling.com. Sass.